नमस्ते जैसे जेवीएन डॉक्टर विशाल सिन्हा प्रोफेसर इन मैथमेटिक्स इन जयंती विद्यापीठ उमेश यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो आई एम प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अंडर द फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन मैथोलॉजी सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ लेक्चर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर ऑन द मॉड्यूल of uh, basic equations of uh, circle and uh, this module is a part of the course uh, mathematics second and under the program of det uh, diploma in engineering and technology uh, det in computer science uh, second semester of the university so the today's lecture is about uh, the basic definitions of uh, the basic uh, equations of the circle and uh, the circle means uh, it is a two dimensional figure and uh, it is just uh, the locus to a moving point uh, that uh, moves uh, at a fixed distance uh, uh, from a fixed point that is called the center so a circle uh, which is also just can be studied in the three dimensional and it is known as uh, the square so the today's lecture is about this uh, whole uh, and it is very important part so we are going to share some slide to explain this topic more uh, so uh, we can see uh, the circle is defined there uh, a circle is formed when an arc is drawn from the fixed point called a center and in which all the points on the curve are having the same distance from the center point of the center point of the circle the center point of the circle so uh, just uh, means a circle can be uh, defined as uh, uh, just it is can be defined as uh, it is formed it is the locus of an uh, locus of uh, a point uh, that moves uh, that moves uh, at a constant distance from a fixed point and this fixed point is called uh, the center of the circle so uh, this is this can also be defined as uh, uh, just uh, when an arc is drawn uh, from the fixed point uh, and this fixed point is called center in which all the points on the curve are having at the same distance from the center point of the circle so this is called a circle circle's definition and a circle can be defined can be given in different equations in different ways and their names are different so the first equation for the circle is given by the equation of circle in the center form that is also known as a central form of Uh, circle equation so central equation is given by x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to a square it is important that uh, uh, in this circle that is called central form uh, here the center of the circle is h comma k the center of the circle is h comma k and uh, the radius of the circle is small a so small a is a radius of circle and h comma k is the center of the circle that's why it is called the central form of the circle because uh, it this equation is given in terms of the center of the circle if the center of circle is uh, the origin point uh, is the origin origin means uh, 0 comma 0 then this circle circle's equation reduces to x square plus y square equal to a square so the equation of circle in this way is uh, given by x square plus y square is equal to a square this is the equation of circle and uh, here the center is 0 comma 0 means origin and the radius is a next uh, the equation of circle is given in the general form also the in the general form the equation of circle is given by uh, just uh, x square plus y square plus uh, 2gx plus 2fy and uh, plus uh, c is equal to 0 so this is the equation of circle in the general form it is x square plus y square plus 2gx 
plus 2f5 plus c equal to 0. There that uh, three constraints are coming, uh, g, f and c. So these three points uh, will give here the center point uh, and the radius uh, and uh, in the general, general form of uh, circle, the center is given by minus g comma minus f. The center is given by minus g comma minus f. While the radius of the circle is given by g square plus f square minus c and uh, the under root. Means uh, the center is minus g comma minus f. While the radius is given by uh, under root of g square plus f square minus c. So this is the, uh, these are the two formulas for center and uh, radius of the circle. Here g, f and c are the constant. The third form is uh, given by the polar form and uh, this polar form is uh, for the circle x square plus y square equal to a square is uh, x equal to r cos theta and uh, plus and uh, y equal to r sin theta. So for the circle x square plus y square equal to a square and uh, this uh, a square means uh, suppose here if we take uh, radius as uh, r there so x square plus y square is equal to r square is a circle and in this case the equation of circle is given by equation of circle in the polar form is given by x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. So this is called polar form x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. If we put uh, uh, the value of x and y in this equation of circle uh, means x square plus y square equal to r square then our equation of circle will get uh, satisfied. And therefore, this is called a uh, polar form. Polar form means uh, in terms of uh, radius and uh, angle theta of the radius sector between the radius sector and uh, the positive x-axis or uh, just we can say here theta equal to 0 line. Now, next uh, is here. This is general form equation. One is the diameter form of uh, a circle is also there. Diameter of circle form is given by x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 equal to 0. Again, listen this one. So, x minus x1, uh, that whole is multiplied by x minus x2 plus uh, y minus y1. Then this y minus y1 is whole multiplied by, by y minus y2 and uh, equals to 0. That is uh, showing the equation of circle in diameter form. Diameter uh, means here that the two endpoints of the diameter are x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. So these are the two endpoints x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. And uh, this form is called the center. This form is called the diagonal form of the uh, diameter form of the circle. Now we take some example to uh, explain these topics more. The first example is that uh, find the equation of circle whose center is 1 comma 2 and radius is a 2 unit cell. So in this question, we have to find the equation of circle and uh, whose center is 1 comma 2 and radius is 2 there. So just uh, to solve this question, we can use the equation of circle in the center form and this is given by x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to r square. So center is 1 comma 2. So x minus 1 whole square plus uh, y minus 2 whole square and this equal to radius means 2. So 2 square. When we open, when we open these two uh, like whole squares, sir, then we will get uh, x square plus y square minus 2x uh, minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. So ultimately the center form uh, by which we have started the solution of this question and uh, when we solve this equation in the center form uh, then we will just get the equation of circle in the in the general form and uh, this is called the general form of equation of circle next uh, one more example we will take uh, to explain this more here so in this example we can see that uh, if the equation of a circle is a uh, x square plus y square minus 12x minus 16y plus 19 equal to 0. Then find the center and the radius of circle. So it's a very basic question. And uh, in this question, we are given that uh, 
just uh, the equation of circle in the general form. General form means x square plus y square uh, plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So in the same form, we are given that equation. And uh, here we can observe that uh, by comparing this given equation, x square plus y square minus 2lx minus 16y plus 19 equal to 0 with this standard form, general form of equation, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Uh, just we will get there 2g equal to minus 12 and uh, 2f equal to minus 16, 2g equal to minus 12, 2f equal to minus 16. So these are the coefficients of x and y respectively. And uh, c means a constant uh, in this equation is 19. So c is equal to 19. And uh, in this way, just calculate g and f. So g becomes minus 6, uh, while f becomes uh, minus 8. So g equal to minus 6 and f equal to minus 8. Uh, and c is equal to 19. As already we know that uh, the, the, in the general form of uh, equation of circle, the center is given by minus g comma minus f. Minus g comma minus f is the center uh, in the general form. So therefore, uh, here the minus g is a positive 6 uh, and minus f is positive 8. So 6 comma 8 is the center of uh, this given circle. 6 comma 8 is the center of given circle. And the radius of circle is given by g square plus f square minus c. So that is here. Look at this one. It is uh, g square means uh, 36 uh, plus f square is uh, 64. And uh, minus c. Minus c means minus 19. And uh, in this way, just uh, this is the given uh, values here. So g square is 36. Uh, f plus f square is 64. And minus of C means minus of 19. So when we solve this uh, term, uh, then we get uh, 100 minus 19 root over, so root over 100 minus 19, and which will be equal to under root 81. So under root 81 means uh, 9 units, uh, and uh, it is 9 is the radius of circle, and center is 6, 8. So uh, just uh, in this way, uh, we can determine uh, the center of circle, the radius of circle in the different form, uh, in the general form and uh, in the center form. And uh, many more questions uh, can be solved, can be made from uh, such concepts. Uh, uh, di uh, diameter form is also important. So this uh, circle means it is a part of the two dimensional geometry is a very important part uh, and uh, uh, just it will be used in the further uh, analysis uh, and uh, geometrical concepts uh, of uh, like uh, circle, parabola and other curves. Uh, the basics of circles is very important. Uh, so in the today's lecture, we have discussed about uh, the whole concept of uh, the basic equations of circle. So students are advised uh, for the practice and to learn uh, uh, these basic definitions of circle and uh, the concepts of circle, uh, this geometrical uh, figure, uh, two-dimensional geometrical figure, and uh, solve many more problems uh, related to given uh, to such topic. Uh, so with this topic, I'm uh, with this here, I'm concluding my today's lecture. Thank you.